Hey, what is up guys? My name is Hamza Tube, and today I am back at it once again with the gaming video of the F1 2022 mobile mobile. Well, today we are back on the career mode of me playing in the house as Kevin Magnuson in the 2022 career mode. Well, as casual, in the last episode of this game, we played at the Jeddah Grand Prix, um, at and we finished at P14. Thank goodness we didn't DNF, otherwise we were definitely going to finish at P20. Well, on the driver standings, constructor championship, we are on number 14. That is seriously not bad if you ask me. We are on number 14. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, the car wear we got 11%. Quick repair reduced 20% if you watch a video. Yeah, I'll watch a video. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Abu Dhabi or also known as Yas Marina Circuit. Well, today we got the sunny day in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and I am Ahmed Hamza, also known as Hamza to HD as the commentator for this race. Well, here we go in the qualifying lap in Q3, 3, 2, 1 and it's like sound anyway we go. Hamza Tube is getting over it with some... Um, down he goes to the corner one and he didn't crash or having some major major or even minor mechanical failure here goes to the third and the fourth corner everything went well he about to cross the first sector and down to the co sector two it is a normal time for him and he almost crashed himself out to the wall but thankfully he is fine and he is down to the fifth and sixth corner without any crash he's got the DN he got the DRS activated and here he goes to the 7th and the 8th corner Will he crash because this is one of the tightest shaking on this race And he didn't, he sort of didn't crash He didn't crash but he is over the track limit He didn't get any penalty for it And here he goes to the second sector of the DRS section He got the DRS activated and, and he is almost about to cross the line for the sector 2, he got the optim he got the normal time. He's once again crossed the circuit the circuit regulations line. And here he goes to the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 corner, which is the most tightest king. Because he just needs to be corner and corner and corner. And he's down to the 11th corner. He once again crossed the circuit regulations, but didn't get any penalty for it. He got the normal time, he never got the optimal or the fastest lap in the qualifying session, that's why he never got the pole position. He almost about to cross the line, he's down to the final corner. Here he goes to the final straight, and he crossed the line. He got in P17, with his time of 1 minute and 52 seconds in P17. Well, his teammate, um, Mick Schumacher in P... 15 Yeah, his teammate is in P15 and he is in P17 While in the pole position, Charles Leclerc coming up to the Carlos Sainz and coming up to the Red Bull, Max Verstappen And all of that being lined up, we will get our drivers ready for the race in tomorrow Well, um, that qualifying lap just didn't go as planned. I am over the track limit so many times right there, but thankfully no penalties. But unlike the Jeddah, well, we are starting at P20 from the, the qualifying lap and climb our way like up to P14. Failure. But now in Abu Dhabi, we're starting at P17. And 
we need to climb our way up to P10 which is a little bit easier if you ask me and if you guys realize that Mick Schumacher my own teammate in Haas is in P15 he did even well than how I did that's just unfair I want his car he take my car well I really hope that this game at like flying lap so that I can practice and I really hope that this game at the pit stop entry so that we don't need to wait for this like malware functioning car damage whatever I hope this game the EA gaming mobile at at the pit stop and remove this malware actually keep the malware but at pit stop first and second at flying lap so that we can practice second and third I really hope that they like at some kind of qualifying for the spring lap spring race and also at the spring race so because that will add at a point if I get P10 and if I got P1 that will add 8 points to my driver standing championship construct constructor championship which good if I really need to be in top 8 at the finish of the season well I really hope so well can I like use a quick repair for right now let's see no I cannot use it well whatever I'll go with Abu Dhabi in P17 with 16 malware damage 16% malware damage well here we go I will hope this goes as well welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi in 2022 I am Hamza Tbhd as the commentator for this race we got the sun race in the si Sunday well line up first position Charles Leclerc coming up to Carlos Sainz coming up to Max Verstappen coming up to Sergio Perez Lewis Hamilton George Russell Lando Norris Daniel Ricciardo Daniel Ricciardo and the Fernando Alonso Esteban Ocon Valtteri Bottas Joe Guanyu Pierre Gasly Yuki Tsunoda we got Yuki Tsunoda and then Mick Schumacher the owner driver Hamza Tabeshi and here we go got five likes it's likes and away we go Hamza Tabeshi got a good run and get and trying to attack on his own teammate Mick Schumacher but Mick Schumacher blocked him up and he about to make the move but he crashed with Joe Guan Yu he crashed in the Guan Yu Joe he got some major contact and major difficulties he is down to P20 right now and he got m a lot of penalty for corner cutting for wrong way for wrong way track for contact hard contact on Guan Yu Zhou right there in Alfa Romeo well here he goes to the second and the third corner he got a penalty another penalty for corner cutting he is catching up to Sebastian Vettel the four time world champion but he missed the opportunity to overtake Sebastian Vettel because he's late due to the crash that he got at the beginning of the race but here he goes to the DRS section he didn't get the DRS permission by the FIA he make the move on the Nicholas Latifi on and the Sebastian Vettel Jo Guan Yu Zhou overtook him back but it is okay because he's up to P18 from P17 down to P20 and up to P18 now he's trying to catch up to Guan Yu Zhou to catch up to get his own position back all over but he's once again over the track limit down to the title shaking on on Yas Marina he got a penalty for corner cutting once again Hamza tube and corner cutting really cannot be separated they are being conjoined at the hip and they and here he goes down to the um 11th corner he once again corner cutting and he didn't get penalty for it thank goodness Lee he didn't get any crash because he about to crash to the wall and he are almost to the and he are almost finished the first lap 
trying to catch up to Guan Yu Zhou, but Guan Yu Zhou is getting some good, good time gap between him and Hamza too. Here he goes down to the first corner once again in the second lap. He got every single time of the record time a bad time in, in yellow, yellow color. He's trying to squeeze Sebastian Vettel out from overtaking him, it, but in also trying to get to overtake Guan Yu Zhou and here he is once again corner cutting on the third corner and there was like some crash happened at the back um, Nicholas Satifi overtook on Sebastian Vata and, Se and Nicholas Satifi bumped into Hamza too and that caused us to Sebastian Vata re-overtake Nicholas Satifi and here he goes down to the second straight on the circuit he's catching up to Guan Yu Zhou but Guan Yu Zhou is getting up the is getting the time gap even further because he I'm going to get a another penalty for corner cutting. What is wrong with Hamza 2 is corner cutting man? Alright, Sebastian Vettel is trying to make the move on Hamza 2 but he is um, a success. Uh, Sebastian Vettel make the touch on Hamza 2 but Hamza 2 got the got the advantage of the outside down to the first down to the second and the first Titus checking on Yas Marina. Once again, he's got the time penalty for corner cutting and he's once again over the track limit in the same corner, in the same straight, in the same place every single time in every single lap. But he's got some time gap, a good time gap though, between him and Sebastian Vettel but he's now in the fight for P17 he's trying to chase after Guan Yu Zhou with in the final lap in the third lap and the final lap with the bad timing bad tire bad aerodynamic and every single one of his possible every single one of his possible opportunity to overtake um Guan Yu Zhou and re and re take his position is out because he is having some major difficulties at the beginning of the race with the with the heart full heart full contact and a crash well here he goes to the second corner and he got the DRS activated catching up to Guan Yu Zhou in the last lap I assume that he will not going to be a success but we'll see oh me he made some Hard contact within him and last Stroll. I assume that um, Guan Yu Zhou made a move on. I mean, like Guan Yu Zhou made a move on last Stroll and the DR section because last Stroll is down to P17 and Guan Yu Zhou is up to P16. Sebastian Vettel trying to make the move on Hamza too, but, Ham but Hamza too actually squeezes him out. He got the good time between him and Sebastian Vettel actually 24 seconds is not a good gap well here he goes to the second Tata chicane on Yas Marina will he make the move and no he didn't and what he did is over the track limit once again Sebastian Vettel trying to make the move on him but it is a fail but it is a failure every single time and here he goes, Hamza Tube will about to cross the line down to the final straight. And up to the final straight, he crossed the line in P17. Oh no, he P18. What happened? Well, he's in P18 with, with his teammate of Mixed Marker in P14. First place um, being owned by Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen. Down and then up to Sergio Perez, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, Dan Ricardo, Lando Norris, Esteban Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Yuki Sinoda, Vettel Bottas, Pierre Gasly, Mick Schumacher, um, Guan Yu Zhou, Lance Stroll, and the owner driver Hamza Tube, and then Sebastian Vettel and Nicholas Latifi with the fastest lap of with the fastest lap of Carlos Sainz and the driver of the day is being owned by Lewis Hamilton. What a race for today's Grand Prix. We got P18 for Hamza Tube, but that is a heartful, 
hot full race for him. Well, the race is ended, and I will see you guys in the next race. I am Hamza Dupe, SG commentator, and I am out of the duty. Well, there it is, guys. The race in Abu Dhabi 2022 in Karamot as Kevin Magnuson in the house. That race goes absolutely and enormously bad. I'm just like, even bad have a somewhere good. This one is marvelously bad. It, it is like, super bad that I think DNF or DSK is better than getting an A, a B18. Because after all, P18 with 58 malware carware damage is not a good trait after all i mean like i am indeed in house one of the slowest car in f1 2022 but i did my best and my best is to is to crash into the wall in the first lap with guan yu Zhou, but i did what i can and i tried to avoid avoid it but it came I mean, just like, what can I fix? What happened is already happened. All I need to do now is focus on the future and the past is the past. What happened it will remaining will remain to be happened. So, I just need to fix what i doing wrong and try to fix it in the next race. Which is, ne which is next epi episode at Hungarian and Hungarian Grand Prix and the Silverstone and then one of my most hated crack on the F1 calendar, calendar Monaco uh, also known as P Monte Carlo and then Spielberg um, Red Bull Ring Red Bull Ring is okay if you ask me Monza at the tightest chicane at the first corner and then Mexico City, one of the okay, I guess. Well, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys actually would like to see more of this kind of career mode or this S1, this F1 2022, let me know by leaving a like in the down below and giving me a thumbs up. And if you guys have any other video suggestion or any other challenge in F1 2022 let me know by leaving it in the comment section down below and if you guys like this video and want to see more but don't want to miss on any of it don't forget to hit that big red sub button and the notification bell beside it to not miss any uploads from this channel without further ado I will end this video with, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.